Hi there. Macros are the best choice you can make for workflow optimization. But what are they, and how to create them? Let's find out an answer to this question. A macro is a pre-recorded action or response that agents can use while working with tickets. So, to get what it is, we are going to be making one with you just right now. First, go to the Admin Center on the Admin tab in Zendesk Support. You also can click on the Zendesk Products button on the top right-hand side of the page and select Admin Center. Then, find the Workspace Module, Agent Tools category, and select Macros. Next, click the Add Macro button in the right-hand corner and fill in the fields. As obligatory action, name the macro so that you or other agents will be able to find it easily later. Besides, you can also write a short description to specify it. After, choose who will use this macro but remember that only admins or agents with specific permission can share macros with all agents or agents in groups. Therefore, if you are a regular agent, you are allowed to use the me only option. The most interesting part is where we need to add actions. For example, we want to create a macro to use as a reply in tickets, so we have to add the related text. For this, click on the Add Action button. Comment Description and insert the text. You can also apply formatting to it. Attach some files or add placeholders. Then, set comment mode as public if you don't want the macro to be sent as an internal note. And finally, point out the status. It means that when an agent sends this prepared response to a customer, the ticket status changes according to the status you selected here. When it's done, don't forget to save a macro by clicking the create button. Now let's see how a macro is being used in practice. Open or create a ticket and fill in obligatory fields if needed. Next, at the bottom of the page, click Apply Macro and select a recently added recorded response from the drop-down menu. As you can see, when we applied the macro, the ticket status also changed. So, confirm our actions to send out the message. If this tutorial is helpful, subscribe to our channel and social media you can find in the description below. Also, visit our growth.com to learn about Zendesk apps, themes, and services. By the way, our growth.team can assist you with any questions related to Zendesk settings and more. So please don't be hesitant to contact our support team. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.